Welcome to the stage, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison. to see all of you, you guys. It is an exciting moment for America right now because we are on the verge of electing one of the greatest progressives that this country has ever seen. And let me tell you something. I know, I know because I spent 12 years in the United States Congress and when you send Nina to Congress, just in a few days from now, she is going to change that place. And I just want you to know, I'm so proud of you. Nina, Nina is, of course, a person in her own right, but she understands the power of us. She understands the power of us. And she's gonna go there, and she's gonna be there with AOC, and she's gonna be there with Bernie Sanders, and she's gonna, and she's gonna be there with all of you, and we're all going there with her and we are going to change this country because we deserve, we deserve to be able to go to the doctor. How about some Medicare for all? Anybody for that? We deserve a Green New Deal, let me tell you. We deserve to cancel student debt, absolutely. And we deserve somebody who has the guts and who has the vision, who has the courage to stand up and demand it on our behalf, absolutely. And I also want to tell you that there are things that Nina will have to face in Congress that you and I don't even know about yet. But because she has been consistent in her courage and in her advocacy for us, we know that no matter what she encounters, she's going to do the right thing because she has done the right thing, absolutely. And and I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you this, it is a very bad, very bad idea to say, we just want somebody who's going to do whatever the president says. It's not a good idea, even if you love the president, and, I, and I'm, I'm not here to criticize the president, but even if you agree with what they're doing, you want somebody who represents the people of the 11th District of Ohio. boss to who's in the White House, you want somebody who's going to say, yes ma'am, yes sir, yes us, to the people of the 11th District of Ohio. It is not the job of the member of Congress to be servile and obedient to the White House. It is the job to obey the needs of the people of this district right here. And I just want to tell you, when you elect me, you're going to get something that's really, 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 really awesome. And I'm going to stay with me because I'm going somewhere. She is not just going to win this election and say, well, I'm in and y'all, uh, I'll be just chilling out here for the next few years. She's going to be campaigning after she wins and after she wins and after she wins so that Ohio, who basically has one statewide down, is, is after Nina gets in, is going to drive up turnout in the 11th which is gonna drive out turnout in the whole state of Ohio, which, which means that you're going to see a rebirth of progressive Dems taking statewide office in the state of Ohio. I'm telling you, if you will turn out the vote in Cleveland, you will win all over the state, but you can't do it with a minimalist, just do enough to get by, just to orders from the boss above. You can't do it that way. You've got to have somebody who campaigns and reaches out, not only to win an election, but to invite people to the democratic process. And that, and that, my friends, is a 365 day a year process. That is every day. That is something where you're campaigning not just to win, you're campaigning because everybody has a right to be listened to, to have their voice heard. That's what it's really all about. And Nina Turner is a listener. That is one of the most important things about her, y'all. She is a listener and she is a carer. She cares about you. She literally loves you. And I know in campaigns we don't talk about love that much because 
we're supposed to be all, you know, tough or whatever. But the truth is, I don't trust any politician who does not love the people. And Nina loves you, she cares about you, and she's gonna fight for you. Now, look, I gotta wrap it up right here, but I just wanna say to you, between now and close of the polls on Tuesday, you have the ability to get one more, one more, one more person and invite them to this democratic process. You have the opportunity. Does anybody in this room, raise your hand if you've ever had the unmitigated pleasure of taking somebody to vote for the very first time. How does it feel? How does it feel? It feels good. It feels good. Maybe that person has just gotten off probation or parole. Maybe that person is a brand new citizen. Maybe that person just turned 18, or maybe they just have never had enough confidence in this system to vote before. But when you bring somebody into this thing, it makes you feel good. And I want all of y'all to feel good, really good. So between now and the end of poll, when polls close on Tuesday, we need everything that you got. You, I know some of y'all got, well, I got little kids. Five-year-olds know how to like work the microwave. I, I know y'all are like, what? No, 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 no. Let me tell you, seven, 10 and 12-year-olds can look after, you know, actually the 12-year-olds, we need them to help on the campaign. But, <laughs> But, but, but think you can you bring your kids together and get somebody to look after them all together. What about that? But we need y'all to give everything you got to turn out the vote in the 11th District of Ohio. The very fate of the nation really does depend upon it. I am not pumping it up. It is absolutely true. Elections make a difference. If they did not elect me, I might not have been in a position to lead the prosecution of Derek Chauvin. Because... benefits to not only this district but to this whole country and to that I say let's get out there and get every single person we can to vote on or before Tuesday. Bless you all. Let's go get it done.